What's up guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make a custom front splitter for your car and you can get all the supplies for just over $100 from Bunnings. Alrighty, so first thing you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to run down to Bunnings and pick yourself up a material called Alley Gloss. It has a white side and a black side. We're obviously gonna be showing the black side only and showing how cool it looks. Second off, you're then gonna have to bring it home, lay it out on the ground, and you're gonna have to take your front bumper off. Alrighty, so that's what we're gonna do first. Just kidding, already done it, beat you to it. So once you've got your front bumper off, lay it down flat on top of the alley gloss. This is gonna be the easiest way to do it so you can get a perfect measurement. Now I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do so that we can get a perfect line around the whole way. So it's the same depth, same length. And once we cut it, it looks perfect. Alrighty, let's jump into that now. All right, now you need to get yourself an object to measure the distance of how far you want the splitter to stick out and a Sharpie. Alrighty, now I'll show you how you figure out the distance so that it's gonna be perfect. All right, so what you're gonna do, get a bit of tape, tape the marker to the bottom where it's exactly flat even. Now you can start at any distance, and you just follow it along the bumper. Now we have a perfect line all the way around the edge, and if it's too big or it doesn't suit what you really want, you can just slide the bumper forward or back to uh, give you an extended amount of how much you want. Okay, so I've marked a couple little lines just in here so that I know where the back of the bumper is. So now we can get rid of this. We've got our rough line, come where they are. Don't forget your messy little marking lines to first figure out where you want to do it. The messy lines are part of the process. But yeah, we pretty much have all of it. So I'll probably go from this edge in around here to this and then back around there should come out pretty good so real quick i want to give a shout out to my boy matt fleet uh you can find him on instagram m.fleety um he has a fat bagged vf and uh he's the one that gave me the idea on using this material i've been wanting to do this for so long because the ones that you buy are really expensive and i just i don't know i got that diy attitude i really wanted to do it myself and uh watching adam lz and everyone like that do them um, they just use like a, a, I don't know, a polycarbonate or a plastic sheet, but I couldn't find anywhere, especially in Canberra, to buy that. So uh, I had no idea that this product was even available at Bunnings. He first showed me that and put it on his story. It blew my mind and I, we, we had a quick chat and I ran straight down to Bunnings and got it. He has a fat VF. Definitely go follow his Instagram. It's just here again. So yeah, go, go, go check it out. Alrighty, so now pretty much we're already at the point of cutting and it's been the better part of five minutes. Alrighty, so this is, as it is in the name, Alley Gloss. It is an aluminium with a gloss facing, which is awesome. So I'm gonna use my grinder and just smash out the cut. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, I said just over $100, do this from Bunnings. And again, that grinder cost me $20 from Bunnings. I didn't buy it this time around, I bought it before. But 20 bucks for a grinder, it's it's really not that, really not that bad. You're really not breaking the budget. Alrighty, so we're gonna prop this up. Begin cutting. All right, I got my small $20 Cuddy Boy from Bunnings. Got some hearing protection and I've already got some four eyes on my eyes for eye protection. Let's uh, set this up and start cutting. Yo. All right, so now we've got the main thing cut out. Now I'm gonna chuck on my flat disc. Just even up the edges. Obviously you can't really bend while cutting on a, on a grinder disc. That's how you end up exploding it in your face. But uh, I still got a decent curve out of it that wasn't pushing it too much, but it wasn't quite enough. So I might just, uh, I'll just neaten up that edge, bring it in. Got to neaten up this one too. You can see it goes out a bit, but you won't notice that too much. So pretty much just clean up the edges and the cuts and we can peel off that plastic and screw her in. Oh, choice, bro. Love it. That looks sick. Might trim in the sides a bit. I don't know yet. But literally, I can just customize it however I like. That's come out freaking wicked. Love it. Might trim in those sides. They just seem to, I don't know, maybe it'll look different on the car. But uh, they just seem to like stick out a little bit. But as well, once I got big wheels again with camber and everything, they might come out and meet it to that edge. So I don't know, maybe I won't do the cutting just yet. I'll uh, see how it goes first. But uh, damn, for a couple minute project, that's come out sick. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick break from that. The moment Indy's out here smashing out more of the sticker orders, we've got uh, more of the uh, Flex of the Month stickers going out. We have a shit ton of them to do because you guys absolutely blew them up and it went insane. Um, 
so much so that we've actually sold the like the the company that stocks this in Canberra. We've completely sold them out. We've had to order a lot more of it offline that, from like three different stores selling them out because you guys did a lot more than I thought you would and you bought a lot more. And since it is a long weekend, technically, and it is still the weekend, uh, even though it is Monday and I did say Sunday would be the cutoff, uh, if you're watching this right now, you still have a chance to get one of the Flex of the Month stickers because I'm extending it until tonight. Tonight is it, and that is only because it is still technically the weekend. All right, that's enough about that. We'll get back to, uh, back to the front splitter. All right, now that I got Old Mate just sitting under here, I actually uh, ripped out that little rubber channel that it's got underneath, and it sits inside these perfectly. So now I'm literally just gonna get all my tech screw, smash them in. All right, so here's what it looks like with it on. It does look sweet, but it needs some minor adjustments and minor trimming. I'm not a massive fan of how far it sticks out there. So I might just trim it and round the edge in a little bit coming in to meet the bumper. Just make it a little bit more subtle, but it doesn't stick out too far, which I like. And it looks hella tough. Alrighty, I might trim off those sides and see. That's more like it. I much rather that as it dips in instead of this old big buck tooth looking thing. So I might do that on both sides. Yeah, that makes it look so much nicer. Plus I just rounded that edge a little bit more. Still sticks out a tiny bit. Nah, I like that, I like that. Looks great. Just nice and subtle, not too big. Love it. All right, so I use the off cut here to measure how much I'm gonna need to take off here. But I think I may have uh, mounted it a tiny bit lopsided, so instead I'm just going to take a tiny bit extra off too. All right, let's cut. That is looking more like it, where it tucks in at the sides. Yep, that's it. That's it. Oh yeah, that looks so good. Ah, oh, and the good thing about the alley gloss is it's already like black. You don't need to paint it. I think this side here, like just here, sticks out a little bit more than it does here. So I might need to do a little bit more trimming, maybe. Yeah, that side looks really nice. This one still looks a bit bulgy. That's a tiny bit of quick trimming, so that'll be fine. And that follows the lines. Looks great. Oh, ripper, love that. Boom, and there's the finished product. Whoa, nice and subtle, and I love it. Super nice. Doesn't stick out heaps. Oh, I love it. Could probably be some more trimming I could still do to it, but I don't know, I love that. Oh, so good. Boom, that's actually a project done for once. Have you noticed that I normally get into this like tendency where like I'll start a sick project and then I won't finish it? For instance, like the, uh, the exhaust tips that are still sitting here waiting to be installed, I've got to do the other one as well. Um, I've got one painted wheel at the moment, these ones haven't been painted. Um, I'm really good at starting projects. Uh, but if they don't can't be done in a day, sometimes I don't get them done very quickly or efficiently, which should probably change that. But uh, at least this is done, and I'm really happy with it. I'm over the moon. I am thinking of doing some side skirts as well because I've always wanted to, and then I might have some like might have some material left for some back pods. So maybe in Wednesday's video, maybe I'll do some side skirt splitters. Because uh, I reckon that could look freaking awesome. Alrighty, I reckon that's going to be the end of this video. Probably going to wrap it up right now. But yeah, super happy with the way this turned out. And if I can do it, that means that you can do it. So uh, don't don't have any excuses. Literally go down to Bunnings. I'm pretty sure the huge sheet of the uh, Alley Gloss was like $108. Uh, I got some like fixings and some grinding discs. That was like 8 bucks. Literally, and then like the grinder, if you don't have that, 20 bucks, man. Come on. Like, they literally just smash it on, have some fun with it. And yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. I reckon it looks freaking wicked. Can't get any better than that for that price. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. If you're new here, definitely subscribe. Um, if you're on Instagram, which most of you guys probably are, don't forget to give us a follow. Um, Instagram's just here. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, we're probably going to be making side skirt splitters. Alrighty guys, I'll catch you in that one. Peace. I've been in thugging, you bitching and bugging. There's nothing that we got in common. I've been out grinding and hustling, investing this paper. Got tired of eating that ramen. All of my music be heat, I ain't missing a beat. I've been blessed with impeccable timing. Watch all them people who friendly, it turn into envy whenever they see that you shining. Okay, I'm